and the number of the harp army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and of brimstone. Right, because when you look at a missile flying through the air it's going to be burning auburn in different colors, man. And it's, it's made out of metal so you can sell it and he got a breastplate of fucking fire basically, man. Go ahead. And the it's glowing like green and red and orange and shit flying through the sky. Go ahead. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Right, because if you ever take a look at a at the picture of a nuclear missile, that shit looks scary. You see how big that fucking thing is and the and the and the head of it? Bro, you see how fat them damn things are, man? Traveling on the on, a, on the back of a, 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 a military truck or whatever. You know, that shit looks terrifying, man. You're like, damn, that's a big boy. They, when that, that shit blows up, it's leveling everything, man. Well, people get scared of just seeing lightning. And lightning is like very thin. Yeah, you hear that thunder? Yeah. Oh, yeah, people get scared of that. But imagine, like, something like that, like a pillar falling or something. We're going to bug out. Right. And the missile is, like, what? Got to be at least, like, ten times. Well, the sound of a missile is going to blow your fucking head and your ears off, man. And then, like, lightning, like you mentioned, hello, like you mentioned lightning. When lightning strikes and you hear the thunder, uh, uh, you'll see the flash, and then later on, it'll go, wah, you can hear that thunder come in. If you're next to a lightning strike, that sound is going to be ear popping. I mean, it's going to go blam. It's, you know what I mean? If lightning strikes, that shit will, it will strike with frightening force. You get shocked. Like, you yeah, out. Uh, yeah, yeah. If it hits you, you fucking die. Yeah. yeah. You could, anyway. You could. You know? That's what uh, Yeah, yeah. So, like, that, and uh, that's a good example because uh, a nuclear missile, if it blows up, you're going to hear that. And you're gonna see that flash of light, probably gonna melt your eyes into your head, and then you're gonna hear the boom and it's gonna blow your ears off, and then you're gonna feel the fire. <laughs> That's vicious. Yeah, it's gonna be with frightening, terrifying force, man. Go ahead. This is our Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken. How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Right, because in Isaiah 14 it said, what, is this the man that made kingdoms to shake, that did, did weaken the nations? You know, the hammer of the earth, man. You know, don't fuck with this guy. He'll, he'll bomb you, man. He'll come in, he'll come in. He'll storm the gates, man. You know, that's what happened to them fucking Iraqis and shit, man. Esau came in and stormed the gates. You know, back when the war was going on and it was in the heat of it, you uh, uh, you might have been rooting for America if you didn't know better, right? You was in the world or whatever. You was like, yeah, man, fuck these motherfuckers, bro. Hey, hey, pretty much all of America was united in that. Fuck these terrorists, man. You know, remember Patrice O'Neal, he's talking about, I see this motherfucker, he's at, the, he's at the airline checking people in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't trust this guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, he was like, he was saying like, hey man, the, the Arabs became the, 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 the new ends, basically. You know, everybody's looking at you weird now, you know? Uh, uh, but now it's all coming out. The, 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 he was just out there massacring civilians and shit, man. Killing women and children, raping people, fucking... Hey, all kinds of uh, just heinous crimes, war crimes going on, you know what I'm saying? He had, uh, uh what? Oh, uh, good. They were trying to accuse China of, uh, of that whole thing 2020. China came out and said, well, like, what about all your war crimes? You want to talk about war crimes and shit? What about you? You look nasty. You know, you hear war stories about these guys that were serving in Iraq talking about pilot bodies and that. You know, you 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 lose like or you lost like your buddy or whatever. Fucking two hundred of them suffered for it. Look at what look what he did. It's Gad and Jake, man. The other tribes. This guy's a butcher. He's a butcher of men. It says, I have laid a snare for thee. And thou art also also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. 
the Lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indication. Right, so because when you read about what in Isaiah, when it said, I have created the smith to blow up the coals and the fire, and I created the waster to destroy. So you know what that armory is actually talking about, right? And then when you go into uh, Joel, the second chapter, and it talks about what? It talks about a great army of the Lord, man. That's going to march upon the breadth of the land and turn it desolate. You know, it talks about uh, the land being as easy before it and behind it a desolate wilderness. You know, so many different places in the scriptures all talking about the same thing, this nuclear destruction, because that, that's the final judgment. That is the great judgment that's going to happen, you know, upon this earth, upon Esau, Edom, you know, because that judgment is for this guy directly, you know. But a, a lot of places are going to feel that, feel that fire, man, because America's going to want to. This is the work of the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border. Open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day is come the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, our power, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work according to all that she hath done do unto her for she hath been proud against the Lord against the Holy One of Israel Amen, going back to Isaiah 14 again, the Lord is stirring up the nations against against thee you know and this message is for Esau man, and when I say Esau I'm talking about these, these elites these million, billion Billionaires, these politicians, man, these people in high offices, you know, these tech wizards that are that are that are rolling out uh, the mark, like all you know, all these people that are that are in these uh, secret societies, man, that are in the know, they can see this and know what 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 it is that we're talking about, you know, we know what you know. It's really to tell you that, that all hell is getting ready to really break loose on you. It's for you. You know, of course, there's going to be uh, two-thirds of Jake, whatever, man. Hey, a lot of Jake's going to be safe. Hey, hey. A lot of Israelites. Like, yeah, two-thirds are of their father. Two-thirds are spiritual ease. Yeah, all, in, all, in, all, you, all you Jake's at the Grammy. Yeah. You know, at Jay-Z concerts and Beyonce concerts throwing up them, throwing up them signs and shit, man. You, you with the system, you know, you, you got you to catch that heat, man. Yeah, all the chicks that are even in these secret societies. Oh, yeah, all in these different high offices. Entertain, you entertainers out there, man. Because you got like Shaq. Shaq's a Freemason. Yeah, yeah, God. You know, yeah. You know, I actually show them wearing those Freemason uh, garments, man. You know. Or, or Shriners, you got a lot of Jakes and Shriners. You know, Jakes and, Jakes and all men are wicked, man. But she the original Freemasons were Jakes anyway, right? You know, he's self perverted all that.
That's why I said from with their mouth they do hurt. Out of their mouth is fire, smoke, and brimstone, that explosion. But the power was also in their tail because that's what propelled it into the air. And its body was as a serpent's body because you could see the trail of smoke as it goes through the air, serpentining like a serpent, man. Flying through the sky, you can see that trail. Hence the word warheads. Because with their heads, they do hurt. And if I have not convinced you that this is talking about nuclear missiles, man, hey, you know, uh, uh, to the law, to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no uh, light in them. So with that, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Harakagodash. That lines to our apostles and elders, great millstone, and Shalom. Hopefully, like uh, the water, you how about you now? And uh, hopefully, this is an edifying camp, man. You know, Shalom. Shalom.